now we're here cooking a hot dog. I have my gloves on, I will go to the refrigerator, grab a hot dog out, and set it on the rollers. Once I've set it on the rollers, I need to let it cook. Now, on the machine, you'll notice there are four, five different values, you, four, actually five. You have low, two, three, four, and high. Now I'm gonna cook this a little fast so I can get it up to temperature for the video. But normally we try to cook it on low, but depending on the flow of people that are coming in, you may need to load every single one. So make sure you get the rear and the front cooking at the same time, okay? So that you can get it up. So let's go get that hot dog. So now I have this hot dog. Now we call these foot long hot dogs when in actuality they are 14 inches. So they may cook down a little bit. So I'm gonna, now that I know that this is cleaned off because I cleaned it off getting it open. So I'll set it here in the middle and as it cooks, before I can actually serve this. Now this is very, very important. You cannot serve a hot dog that has not been cooked. You need to take this temperature gauge and stick it in the hot dog and make sure it goes over 160 degrees. Once again, that's 165 degrees. Make sure that it is cooked up to specifications. You all have your food handler's permit, so make sure you're following everything that has been taught to you in the food handler's permit testing and the class that you took. So we'll go ahead and let this cook, and then we'll show how to wrap it up. All right, now that the hot dog is done, I'm gonna, it looks done, so I'm gonna take the temperature gauge, hold the hot dog with some tongs, and put the probe in. Let it come up to temperature so that I know it's just above the 140 to serve. Once that reaches there, I can take the probe out, grab the bun, and set the hot dog in the bun. Okay, now doing this with my gloves on, I grab a top sheet and I'm going to roll it. Okay, the next part of getting the hot dog ready, once you have it in the bun, is to roll it into the wax paper. Now you'll want to set it diagonally, bring it to the edge, and bring the first roll over top. Roll it down, face down, then fold in your wrappers, push down and fold it in, bring it straight out, okay? Then you roll over top and keep rolling, and that keeps the folds inside almost like a submarine sandwich. Then you have your hot dog ready to be put in the warmer. Now, when you're going to serve it, you'll grab it from the warmer. Now, because of the COVID-19 restrictions, we have little packets of ketchup and mustard. Since we have a large uh, hot dog, you'll need to grab multiple packets of ketchup and mustard to serve with it. One other thing that you might wanna ask, in the fridge, there is a bucket. That bucket holds pickle spears. Make sure you are using your gloves. If they would like one, wrap it inside with the hot dog on the hot dog side so it doesn't get all the bun wet. One last thing, once you're done with your hot dog and have it in the bun, make sure to close the plastic bag tight enough so that the air does not get in because if it's left open, the buns will dry out and we do not want to have dry buns to serve with the hot dogs. That will receive many complaints from the patrons. So once again, this has been a training video for how to cook and serve hot dogs here at the Spanish Fork Water Park concession stand.